There is another very interesting feature in Power Query called column profiling. Let me show it to you. Column profiling simply means give me additional statistics and information about any particular column. So you go over to the view tab and that's where you have column profile. Now let's just go ahead and activate this. If I happen to activate this, you're going to see that you get a lot of information about that particular column. Currently, the column that we have selected is nothing but the product ID. I can take a look at the number of values, if there are any errors in that particular column, any empty values, distinct values, so on and so forth. There is also a bar chart on the right hand side that talks about that how many times is this particular value appearing in that column. So if you actually click on this right here, you're going to see that you have a little tooltip. That tooltip talks about that this particular value, which is Pro HO is appearing 112 times and constitutes 11% of all of the values in the entire data. Now, one thing to note is that this column profiling feature is available only on the first 1000 rows of data by default. In case you want to move ahead of 1000 rows and consider the entire data set, you'll have to come to the bottom of Power Query and click right here and activate that I want to have column profiling on the entire data set. Note that in case your data is really, really large, this might just slow down your query, but it's an amazing feature to explore.